Hi, my name is attorney Johan Confidente, real estate lawyer here in Punta Cana. And today, I would like to share with you three red flags that shall alert you when buying a pre-construction property. And if this video was helpful for you, I would like to invite you to subscribe and like so you can get more videos like this. And the number one red flag in my list is when the developer is not in capacity to prove that he's the legit owner of the land where the project is going to be developed. That is a huge red flag because now you're buying from somebody that has not been able to prove that he owns his property and eventually that might constitute a problem. Eventually he might not be able to deliver this property or there might be an litigation or situation with this land. So the very first thing that you have to do when buying a property is to make sure buying a pre-construction property is to make sure that this land belongs to the developer that is selling that unit to you. It's very, very important that an expert real estate attorney make those verification for you before you commit to contract signing, before you make big payments. It is crucial to have a clear understanding about the right to ownership belonging to the developer, not affected with Eastman, not affected with any litigation or any problem that might prevent you from getting this property transfer down the road. The second red flag in my list has also to do with the documents, the documents that prove that it is a legit company, it is a legit owner, but also that the property is free and clear. I might be buying the property from its legit owner, but does that mean that the property is free and clear? It does not. It requires a, a real estate attorney to go over all the necessary documents for the due diligence to confirm that everything is in good standing, that there is no easement, there is no litigation, there is no public or private debt that might be affecting the property because you might be buying from the legit owner. But if the property is not free and clear down the road, you will definitely have some problems to get this property transferred to your name. Therefore, when buying a pre-construction property, it's not sufficient by having a contract that protects your interest. It's not correct just reviewing the contract, but not reviewing the necessary documents to confirm that the property is free and clear. It is very, very critical to review and do a deep research to all the necessary documents and confirm that everything is in good standing. Last but not least, when the developer encourages you not to use an attorney to represent you. Well, you do need an attorney to represent you when buying a pre-construction property because guess what? This contract that you will be signing with the developer is going to be valid between you and your developer until they deliver the property. And typically, when you buy a pre-construction property, you will be linked to your developer for two, three years, plus a grace period. Now, what happens if they're behind? What happens if they don't deliver the property? What happens if uh, they deliver poor quality? Then you need to have those provisions in the contract and it's not sufficient that you get to review it on your own and make sure that you're happy with the contract. No, you need an attorney to go over this contract to review all the necessary documents along with the contract and make sure that the contract offers the necessary guarantees and protection in the event of a problem. Because if there is a problem, we all need to go back to the contract to see what does the contract say about this particular situation. So it is extremely, extremely recommended, highly recommended for you to have a real estate attorney to represent you. You cannot rely on the developer's attorney to just give you a contract because it's not about a contract. It is about a process, a process that starts with ownership, a process that continues with a due diligence that we have to perform to make sure that everything is in good standing. And then we move forward to contract to make sure that the contract protects your answers, to make sure that the contract is aligned with the Dominican law, to make sure that you have enough recourses in your contract to protect your best interest in the event that there was a problem. Well, I would like to get your comments and questions and get in contact with us. Tell us about your purchase and we will guide you in the process as per how to proceed 
when buying a pre-construction property. Thank you. I'll be looking to hear your comments and questions.